Oh shit, good morning everybody, good morning. I know you guys can't hear me yet because no one's logged in because I just logged on, but when this is replayed and saved and you guys are watching the pre-recorded one, good morning everybody. Oh, you know what? Let me see if there's any um, filters that'll make me look like a doctor. You should have like a doctor filter with like a stethoscope, whatever that shit's called. Let me see. Oh, I guess not. How about that guy? That means looks like a doctor. I don't, I don't have a doctor outfit, but I think that one definitely makes me look like a doctor. There we go. How you guys think? What do you think about that? No, maybe makes me look smart and I have a bow tie. So this is my friend right now. This is my Doctor Monsky look because every character has to have a look. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, and it moves with your face too. Well, I don't know if glasses suck into your face when you do that, but maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah, my boy. Even my bow tie sucks in. Crazy. Anyways, man. What's going on, everybody? Everybody's sleeping or everybody's working? What's going on? What's going on, people? I just want to wait a couple more minutes. If not, we're going to get into it because no matter what, you guys are going to be able to see it because it's recorded and you guys can play it later. All that good stuff. All right. Cone Tetas, what's up, brother? Cone Titties in the building. Happy. Oh, you know what? You guys can't see me, huh? I know. I know what's going on. Can you see me? What's up, Mario? Oh, there you go. Now, now I see it. Cause the last time people were tuned in, they're like, "Oh, we could only hear you." Real summer was happening. Okay, there we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. So anyways, man, not your average radio, your boy, Dr. Monsky today. Um, for you guys that don't know what's up with Dr. Monsky, it is a, um, I guess you say a, a, a show, a character that you guys wanted me to come up. What's up, Mario? That you want me to come up with. And, um, you know, people always come up to me and I'm going to, and it happened to me last night. This is why I'm jumping on right now. I wanted to say it before I forget it. <laughs> and then later on, I'm like, what was I going to say? So I just want to do it right now. But yesterday, I came across um, a couple instance, instances that, um, that like, for some reason in my life, I, c I come across situations that people come up to me and like, oh, Monsky, this and this and that. Like, what do I do? And I'm just like, what the fuck? And, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a professional doctor. I'm not a professional anything, to tell you the truth. But, um... But um, I do I do have a lot of fuck ups in my life. I did screw up a lot. That I kind of learned some stuff. You know, I kind of learned some stuff. So that's why Jasmine, what's up, Jasmine? That's why I am doing this show because people come up to me all the time, like every day at least. It's like Monsky, this and this and that. My fucking life sucks. But and I'm like, what? But yeah. Anyways, um, I did create an email called drmonsky at gmail dot com. If you have any concerns that you want me to talk about or uh, whatever the case might be, let me know. Email me. It's 100% monogamous. Not monogamous. What's that word again? I, I forget the word. But confidential is not the word I'm looking for. But that's the one that works. By the way, I'm using a filter to make my to make me look smart. You know, I got the bow tie and the glasses. I'm not wearing cartoon glasses. It's just a filter. But I figured I needed a, a new character when I am Dr. Monsky. But anyways, um, I guess everybody's sleeping right now or they're at work. Um, so I'm going to get into this real quick. Two things that happened yesterday. That, that happened, that I do have an email so you guys can hit me up, but I did not get an email about any situations, but Natasha was happening, Abby was happening, so yeah, I've been on this for a couple minutes now, let me just get into this, um, and while people are, uh, people are logging in, then you have to just replay it, but check this out, I, I, um, I wanted to say this stuff because it's really important that you guys understand, um, yesterday I was at the comedy show, and I'm not going to say anything, like this is anonymous, that's the word I was looking for, thank you real, real summer in the building, um, yeah, so this is 100% anonymous, even the situation that happened yesterday, I'm not going to tell you who it is, Martha, what's happening, um, so yeah, yesterday I was out and about, and two, two situations that I wanted to talk about is, 
let's talk about the first one. The first one, I was sitting next to a couple, and there, you know, we were right there at the bar, and we're sitting next to a couple, and like the friend that they haven't seen in a while, like, came, like was there too, and they were just like, oh, dude, I haven't seen you for so long, blah 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 blah. So I was just sitting there and listening, you know, I'm just drinking, you know, on social media, whatever the case might be, and uh, the guy. You know that, that that came and he's like, oh, you guys. They used to work together at the same place. And the guy came and he's like, oh, you guys still work there? Oh, like I haven't worked there in years, and that that place is bullshit. And and um, something along the lines about I was a little tipsy um, about oh yeah, like you, you guys have your dreams that, that that you really think you're gonna be successful there. Like it's, it's not possible. You know, like my dreams were already crushed, so your dreams are gonna be crushed too. Like he was being very. Um, very with the cheese man. So yeah, so basically, um, he was being very negative. You know what I mean? Like he was telling these people, like, "Hey, I used to work there. I didn't make shit of myself. So you're not gonna make shit of yourself either." And I was just like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "This guy sucks." And he's like, "Yeah, you know, everybody just works there, and they think they're gonna be this, and you ain't shit." Like, like he kept telling them that. And so they were like, "Yeah, like whatever." So like he ended up leaving the restroom or whatever. And I turned around and looked at him, and I was like, "Don't listen to that motherfucker. Like you guys follow your dreams. You will, you know, you will accomplish them and all that stuff." And then they were just like, "Wow, like we really needed to hear that because he was really bringing us down." And at the end of the day, if anybody tells you, I know you've heard it and it's really cliche, but it's real shit. If anybody tells you you can't do it, is everybody is a mirror. You know what I mean? So when I'm talking to you and I'm saying you're a fucking idiot, it's because. I see, you know, like, I hate myself. I think I'm an idiot, so I'm putting that shit on you. You know what I mean? So he said it himself, though. It was really funny. He said it himself that even my dreams were, were um, you know, my, my, my dreams were fucking ruined. So your dreams are going to be ruined, too. You know what I mean? Like, he's saying it. Like, like, I'm fucking hurt that I didn't do, I didn't accomplish my dreams, so fuck you too, you know what I mean? So basically, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about, that no matter what happens, and I was there, you know what I mean? I was like, no, I'm like, fuck it, don't listen to that guy, follow your guys' dreams, I'm like, you can make it happen, you guys are still working there, you know, like, he, he no longer works there, so he, you know, that, that situation is no longer good for him, because he fucked it up, or whatever the case might be, or it wasn't for him, you know, just things, sometimes things are not for you, you know, and, and, and better things would come, will come, if you just keep pushing, keep being positive, all that good stuff. So I was really happy that the couple was just like, man, we really needed to hear that. Like he was really bringing us down. So that was the first situation. And if you guys are just logging in, Letty, Brenda, what's happening? You have to rewatch this because I don't really want to repeat myself. <laughs> anyway, so a couple things happened yesterday that I really want to talk about. Um, and I was there to motivate people <laughs> last night. I just motivate people no matter where I go. And so that was the first situation. The second situation, um, we were later that yesterday evening or morning. It was like one in the morning. Anyways, um, we, we were around people and and I heard them talking. And uh, there was two girls, right? And they were talking, and she was like, "Yeah, I just, you know, I, I, I'm." Now I'm just like, basically, my life is over. You know, I'm 30 years old. I, I just, you know, I went through a breakup. Like, who's gonna want me now? Like, this is the shit that I was that I was listening to. Now, and and um, and I was just chilling right there. And again, here comes fucking positive Monsky. And I was like, I was there. I was. There. I'm, by the way, I'm 36 years old. If you guys don't know, so when I was 30, um, th there was a point that I was just like, you know what? I had a girlfriend at the time when I was about 29, 30. And basically she said, like, either you, you marry me or we're, I, we're, I'm done, you know, because I'm almost 30. Um, I need to, like, either have a kid or I need to, you know, f continue my life. And if you're not want to be, you don't, you don't want to continue your life with me, then don't don't do it and find someone else, or whatever. And at that point, I was just like, fuck. I was like, I'm almost gonna be 30, you know. Like my, I'm already getting old. Like this is it for me, you know. I already had fun in my 20s, whatever the case might be. And I and I got engaged. Like I got engaged to her, or whatever. Anyways, it didn't work out. Obviously, um, they didn't get married. But anyways, so basically the same thing she was saying. She was like, I'm already 30. Who like 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 you know my single days are over, and I just got you know I just became single my relationship didn't go through um and she was like really down on herself so i told her i just went up to her just like i did right now and i was just like you know what i was going through the same shit i'm 36 years old and right now i'm having the time of my life <laughs> you know what i mean i was like you know why because i focused on myself i believed in myself you know what i mean for all my 20s that is me talking about me um in my 20s all i wanted to do was have a relationship like for some reason that was embedded in my head that i needed a relationship i needed a white picket fence you know what i mean all that good stuff and now in my 30s and i'm like fuck that i need to focus on myself i'm not not that it's a bad thing you know what i mean it just apparently it wasn't for me my for me is to be here motivating you guys and um and do not your average radio now that's my baby my baby girl what's up girl anyway so that's what's going down um so yeah so basically 
it's never too late. You know what I mean? Especially 30. Like, Jesus Christ. I wish I was 30 again. When I was 30, I felt like I was at the end of my road. Now I'm 36. I'm about to be 40 in, in four years. And now I'm just like, fuck it. I'm living the life. You know, I'm living an amazing life right now. So I'm having fun. Um doing what I love, doing what I felt I needed to do. And um, so it's never too late for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying to get out of your relationships. I'm just saying, focus on you. You know what I mean? So there's no reason to be in a relationship. If you're broken and the other person is broken, it's not going to work. You have to be amazing. You have to be positive. You have to believe in yourself. And the person that you're with has to be positive, has to be amazing, has to believe in themselves, and you guys will make each other better. So anyways, that's what I, what I really wanted to talk about. Um, by the way... I'm using this filter because I think it makes me look like a smart person. <laughs> so that, that's why I'm using this as my Dr. Monsky character. But yeah, this, this is definitely, this is 100% anonymous. Um, I'm not going to tell people's names. You know, this is just situations that happened yesterday. I'm going to the perfect, everything happened in the perfect timing. You know, nobody emailed me any situation that they wanted me to talk about. So situations came to me last night, two of them in, in two different, two different places. You know what I mean? So, um, and these are situations that I really hold dear to my, you know, like to me because they made me who I am now. Um, you know, like I said, when I was 30, I was like, fuck this. I need to be married. Like my, my road is over. There's no, you know, I'm going to get old. There's no girls that are going to want me. Psh, boy, was I wrong. And, um, um, <laughs> and, um, and following your dreams, following your dreams. Like, you know, I started doing not your average radio. How old am I? 36. I've been doing it for three and a half years. I was like 32, 33, 32. I think I was 32 when I started not your average radio. You know what I mean? So it's like this chick is 30 and she's like, oh, my life is over. I was just starting not your average radio at 32. You know what I mean? So it's never too late. Um, there's a guy, E.T. the hip hop preacher. He started his shit when he was 40. You know what I mean? Now he like he's almost fifty and he's like a well known motivational speaker throughout throughout the world and stuff like that. Um but one more one more story. Uh McDonald's, uh Croc, Ray Croc or whatever, he was like sixty when he started the McDonald's uh franchising and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it's never too late to follow your dreams. Do you and I hope I helped. Today is what, Thursday? Throwback Thursday. Um hope everybody has an amazing day. Tomorrow's Friday, keep it going. Um Gotta go. Goodbye. Stay amazing, of course. Shout out to everybody, man. What the heck? 30 isn't old. I'm 33. See, that's what I'm saying. Yes, 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 yes. Blackwell was in here, too. Uh, Martha Seller. I, I'm just reading the comments real quick. Um, that person isn't, isn't positive. Everything that, that will be... That happened will... That what happened to him is negative because that's what he's drawing in. Exactly. If you're a negative person, you're going to get negative situations. And that's what I was telling her. Just be positive. Positive things will come to you. You know what I mean? When I first started doing Not Your Average Radio, I used to do it to nobody. Because nobody knew. Nobody knew what Not Your Average Radio was. So I started just broadcasting. I used to talk to nobody. Like right now, it'd be like zero. <laughs> and then when I replayed, like when it was saved, it'd still be zero. Um... So I used to say it. I used to pretend that I was doing it with a million people fucking listening. You know what I mean? And eventually, I'm putting all that energy out, and it all started coming back. And here you guys are. <laughs> Thank you for coming. But anyways, man, I'm out of here. Not your average radio. Stay motivated. Stay positive. Believe in yourself. And, uh, oh, I'm not Monsky. Sorry about that. Hello, I'm Dr. Monsky. Right here, not your average radio. Oh, shit. I was trying to stick my, my, my glasses up. Sorry. Uh, Dr. Monsky's in the building, man. Not your average radio. If you have anything that you want me to talk about, any concerns or anything like that, trust me, 99%, I probably already went through it. Except if it's a woman thing. If it's like about a period or like, you know, sucking somebody out, like that kind of stuff, I will tell you the guy side of it, I probably, I, not, not that I probably, I haven't gone through that kind of stuff, but 90% of the stuff that you guys have, are going through, I probably already went through because I was just an idiot like that. But... I'm blessed, I learned a lot, and we're moving forward, and we're motivated, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Not your average radio, Dr. Monsky. Email me, doctor, at drmonsky at gmail.com if you have any concerns or whatever. But hey, obviously the universe is giving me shit to talk about, so we're going to keep it going. Not your average radio. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.